What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at this £40 tablet and exactly what is inside of a £40 tablet. So guys, opening up the box you'll find a very poorly presented tablet. Beneath this you'll find the charger and adapter as well as the instruction manual which is very very poorly illustrated. So taking a look at the tablet itself, it is made of a very glossy plastic and it offers most things that any other Android device would such as SD compatibility. Now running a benchmark test for those of you who would like to know how this thing performs. So as you can see, not bad for something so cheap. So guys, opening this thing up was very simple, I just had to remove two screws and then pry open the plastic shell which was fairly difficult but i got it open in the end so now you can see the inside the battery the motherboard uh you can see the metal um back of the screen underneath and i decided to undo any screws that were visible to me as uh, this was just a very simple now i do recommend removing the battery but unfortunately I didn't get around to doing that and that causes a bit of trouble later on in the video but um, now I am just uh, trying to take off ribbons, ribbon cables and anything any cables I can see which are removable uh, to reduce the possibility of me electrocuting myself um, which I do almost do but uh, here we have the motherboard as I said so I've turned it over you can see the CPU is the main black square in the middle uh, I believe this is the dual core that it claims it has and uh, apparently Geekbench um, uh, proves that but um so yeah just looking inside the uh, computer now I'm just filling around with it um, so I'm just pointing at the CPU, ne on the left of the CPU you can see the two RAM modules and on the right you can see the one gigabyte of included memory. So this is all very very simple, very plain. Um, so look on the back of the motherboard, again you've got the camera, very very small camera just here. Um, very very bad speaker. Uh, so this is the plastic bag. It's actually it's quite a thick plastic, but it's very flexible. Uh, so I believe the screen is now loose and easy to pull away. So here we have. This is actually a legit glass, guys. This is quite easily smash actually. I wonder how this compares to that of an iPad. So guys, this is the inside of an iPad. You can see how everything is very well compartmented. Everything is screwed down in a very orderly fashion. Uh, and there's nothing really showing uh, that you could easily break or hurt yourself on. Um, so that's a big difference to the cheap tablet that we are looking at today. I believe this might be glass guys, I'm not sure, I will break this over my bin in a moment. Momento. So I guess that's really it, um, it's actually very interesting looking at all of these little tiny components with the little resistors. Now to see if this is glass, it has turned itself on, that's not good, um, I can't turn it back off when it's open like that, I need something to pull it apart with as well. Right, okay, let's see what we've got in here. I'm not sure which wire I want to pull. So, negative positive, preferably the red wire. I would say, in actual fact, this is probably plastic. Oh, no. Okay, so we have a shatter point. very odd feeling like even with the cracks in it I can run my fingers over it and I'll get cuts but you can still 
almost like it's got some kind of invisible layer over it if it is glass but uh that's the screen so guys then i just made sure i had disposed of the battery properly and that is it thanks for watching like and subscribe and peace out